this little stuff. Important. It's really shiny. Wonder. Oh. It's a little hidden shiv. That's incredible. You're coming back with me. Very nice. Let's see. What other kind of scraps can I find in here? Oh, yeah, I'm just looking around. I am looking for anything possibly valuable. This is something interesting. How much do you think I could get for this? Wait a second. What on earth? No. Wow, an automaton. I thought those were obsolete. I don't know that I've seen one before. I know that the town square had some band automatons. Ones that played flutes and trumpets and drums, that sort of thing, but I don't know that I've seen one out in the wild. Then again, we are in the uh, back room of a storage. Well, a shed would be putting it pleasantly. Let's just say shack. So, I mean, I'm finding things like who who puts a wooden spoon in their storage shack? But I have found some interesting things like. Perfect. Let's just wiggle you out of there. I don't even need the box. I have been looking for a great quality pen for quite a while. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. Fountain pens are a little hard to find too. Well, it isn't even graphite anymore. They make some sort of... I don't know. I think actually they've went back to just making them out of lead. Much easier. So, what are you doing here? Hmm. Okay, so there's, there's some limited speech capabilities here. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess I kind of feel that. I mean, come on, I'm in a storage shack looking for scrap to sell. I guess we both didn't exactly end up where we wanted to be. Hmm. I mean, I'm getting there. I am. I have an airship that needs just a little bit more work. And I need a pilot but I can get out of here, well, as soon as I find somebody to run it. But, uh, good luck with that. I mean, most of the people that had any sort of skills left a long time ago. What's this? Oh. Jar of solid lube. Can never get enough lube. trying to find anybody that has any sort of skill that could actually pilot an airship. I mean, I would learn if it wasn't, you know, a gigantic thing in the air that could crash down in a fiery inferno. Yeah. But, 
but I mean, the only other things that can pilot them, or any sort of vehicle really, are automatons. What were you used for before? Okay, let's, let's look for, there's got to be a voice box somewhere. So, if we just take a little look, give me a second. Alright, let's see. Okay. Think. Hmm. Good, so actually I need... Oh, no. You're a Vorobluck automaton, are you? Oh, all the way from Valadolan. Uh, yeah, so Vorlberg keys are not exactly easy to find. Cylinders. I know where I can find Vorlberg cylinders just fine, but... Keys. Let's let's take a look in the pile. Okay, so we have that's not going to quite work. But maybe that's not going to do it either. I have a big stone bowl. I have couple of clicky clacky little clock parts. Just do a little but otherwise Oh Well that's that's part of a Vorlberg key. Now I wonder, I wonder if I can make something out of, out of all these little scraps. Oh, perfect. Perfect. It's not going to be pretty, and it's going to take a little bit of finagling, but some pins that are the perfect size. There, I think if I can get get that little bit in there and then I might be able to do I have some I can use that. I'll just fuse those together. Okay, and right in the keyhole So you're one of the, uh, the old horn plan automatons. That's not exactly what I needed you for. Now, here's the rub. I thought that the automatons actually played the instrument, but you don't have an instrument. I mean, you got a hand going kind of like this, and, you know, the little doot doot But... Where's where's the horn, man? Where's the horn? And you're still So you're telling me you're essentially a glorified amplifier? Is that? Hmm. Well, don't meet your heroes, I guess. So okay. So your main purpose is just to do 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 Really? You... You were giving me a little bit of a scare there. So you can talk. 
Okay, well, that makes it a little bit better. So, I'm assuming your main function, though, is just... Mm. Okay. Well, luckily for you, I can help out with that. So, I suppose since we're going to be getting a little more closer, a little more intimate with each other's backstory, I should probably introduce myself. I am Delphine Rose. And, yes, I know that is just a real awful name, isn't it? Yes, but it's all I got left for my parents, so I will just have to cherish it. So, what's yours? Yeah, we'll, we'll think of something a little, a little snappier later on. Don't need a model number. So, what do we got in here? Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit of ingenuity. We have a makeshift Broberg key, so that can help us out. But otherwise, so we need to clean you up definitely because, as I said before, it was way before my time when the band players were, well, still playing. So I imagine a few decades of elements and caked on grease and all that good stuff. It's probably, yeah, it's probably a little gross in there. So we've already got lube. Always need lube, can never get enough. And we can use a little bit of this to try to clean some of it out. I think we can use, I got a stick. Stick will help. We have a one of these, but I think perhaps I'll just keep this for selling. I did bring a few claws with me just to clean things up. Otherwise, I think we mostly have what we need, and we also have a shiv. Now I wonder. Oh, heavens above. That is exquisite. What a wonderful little contraption. So, I'm guessing this is some sort of primitive weapon that's been refinished. One can just bonk their assailants, get them with the tiny shiv, and then later clean up any evidence with the very small and very rough brush. I, well, you know, at the very least, it's, it's a novelty. Tourists love this kind of thing. Okay. I brought a few tools of my own. Just, you know, in case there were parts that I liked, but I wasn't necessarily going to haul the entire thing with me. So, I think that's, that's really all we need. So I think we'll set to cleaning first. That's, that's our main priority. And then we'll get to, we'll get to moving things around. So let's start by getting the big pieces of debris. And maybe we can use our stick to chisel away. So I am going to come in real close and see if we can shine you up a little bit. So, oh, well, that's, okay, well, we're gonna have to be a little more Okay, I'm just gonna... We're gonna use one of these to just... Yeah. Oh, good. So, tell me a little bit about your story. We're gonna be here for a little bit. Uh-uh-uh. Quid pro quo. I'll tell you a little bit about me, but first you tell me a little bit about you. So, 
not much to tell. Yeah. I get that. Well, I mean, tell me a little bit about, um, what do you remember about Valadolin? It's, uh, it's not exactly been on the map for quite a long time. Yes. Well, I'm not sure if you knew this, but the, the Vorlberg factory was, um, it was sold off and dissolved after Anna Vorlberg had passed away. They couldn't find the next of kin. Um, I think something had happened with him and he did a lot of talking about mammoths or something like that. I don't know, but I couldn't find him or the person who was trying to find him. So they just went ahead and and uh, took it over. I don't really think it was legal, but nobody was going to stop them if there wasn't anybody to do say anything and stop. That's really all I know. I mean, it isn't exactly like something that's told a lot. It's just that there are a lot of older folks that talk about when the world was mostly run by, at least the minor tasks were run by automatons. Now we have much more sentient beings to do that for us. Unfortunately, they're not exactly controlled by us. So I can't really hijack one to pilot an airship. But what can you do? Let's see if we can chisel this out. Do I have a better... Not really. No. So, well, I guess let's just try that. Is that... Is that having any effect? You did. You did indeed fulfill the terms of the quid pro quo. Well, as I said before, the world moved on from the automatons, and I don't know that that was exactly a good thing. Looking back. Because the automatons did what they did, for the most part, without sentience. And all you needed was your key or your switch, or whatever the manufacturer had, had done so that it was able to be activated. And then it just did its task. And you didn't need someone else's permission, you didn't need to fill out forms, you didn't have to pay to use them. And I don't, I mean, it just, 
things got things got pretty strange pretty quick, I guess. I haven't known it any other way but to hear some of the older villagers talk about it. It sounds like I don't know. I can't tell if it's just wishful thinking or if it was actually a better world. So I found this little this little sliver here. We can use that to just So, mainly we want to clean up the access for your cylinder. As I said before, I know a guy. And I'm sure he has one for transportation. That one's, it's pretty simple overall. He explained it to me once, but essentially it didn't really matter the, the shape of the vehicle or even its nature. So as I was saying, things are not great here. So I do hear, I do hear differently about going east. I gotta go a little bit of a ways east, but there's even talk of some places that still use automata. as well as me. It's strange that you're kind of part wood, part metal. It's just... We don't use a lot of metal. I mean, we use a lot of scrap, personally, but the the robots, whatever. They use a lot of leather, oddly enough, but it's specially treated. They use some leather and they are primarily clockwork. We're supposed to believe that this is all human made. Nothing but good old human ingenuity. But I mean, look at you. You have a degree of sentience and some sick horn plan. But how would that occur with what's going on here? I mean, we have some gears, we have some cylinders, and what have you, but... I mean, it just doesn't... I don't know, there's something... there's something more going on, I think. So, a little vague, I know, but that's kind of what I'm going off of, is just... There's got to be something out there. There's got to be something more. And I think maybe... I mean, here... Here, looking for scrap and whatnot, even though there's nothing else we can really do, is not exactly welcomed. But... I mean, maybe... All the little, all the little bits and bobs that I've worked on might be received a little more pleasantly. And back, back to where I'm going. Never seen it before, but I hear talk of cities made of iron that never rusts 
of large scrolling motifs, flowers everywhere, cobblestone walks. Let's take a look. Make sure this is situated. The thing about wearing goggles is it's never quite going to be pretty, but um, let's see, let's bring this one in. Hmm. see things that are there but aren't quite there, if that makes sense. Okay, and then... I apologize, I just really... I get a little engrossed in this. I think, I think with just a little bit of fine tune work and a little bit of lubricant, that should be, that should be just fine. All right, let's see. So let's get out some little, little clods here. So. There are some special parts on you that I'm going to use this very this little scrap of, I don't know, it's something shiny, but I think we'll use this first on the eyes because they're a little clouded. Must be just with age. be conscientious about the face. I, I hear that automatons can weirdly be a little self-conscious.
trying to flicker away on me. Just cleaning up here. I got out most of that and I caked on lubricant, but need to uh, need to just Good. Now, for the, for the other parts, we can use our big old rag here. It's gone quite in handy. And we can just I think I should probably clean out the uh, the business in uh, the keyhole here. So let's see. Let's go ahead and just. I don't know what I'm gonna do to get in there, but this is the best we can do. This is the best we can do. left y'all in here to just fade away, didn't they? We 
be two, pull down one, pull one. There we are. I see. And now if we pull down two. Oh. Oh my. Well, I think that is indeed the best we can do. So let me see if we can get the bed I might even have. <gasps> That'll work a little better. Let's see if we can just... Definitely doing something. scrap of this, but I suppose out east they might have more scraps of this. So it'll be worth it in the end. just have to do it. So, otherwise, I think I'll just make sure everything is cleaned off and then we can we can loop you up and now the kicker will be trying to figure out how to get you out of here. How am I a person of not exactly a small stature, but not great stature either. Much less smaller than you are, though. How am I to get out a thing the size of a person? Hmm? No. So you do have legs. Do they work? Or is it another little thing it's just for show, like your your little horn. They do work. Wonderful. Um, would you mind if I see them kick up a bit? Okay, so those are actually in good shape. I guess it helps that since you didn't really need the legs too much, it's not all caked with grease. We'll give them a nice little little once over anyway. Wouldn't hurt. And then I suppose we'll just walk out of here. Did I mention that I wasn't exactly given permission to be here? No. No. I I wasn't going to call it stealing necessarily in this instant. But that is because, I mean, there is a thick layer of dust here. At this point, it's just reclamation, really. Uh, I might have to adjust the position of the fingers, though, since they're Still on the uh, do, 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 do. little bit. But otherwise, I think primarily you will be 
just about good to go. I think let's do some right here. solid now, but it can be turned into an oil if we warm it up a little, but then actually applying it, I mean, I do like to use more of a brush to coat everything, but I don't really like those fine brushes. I like a stiffer, stiffer brush. I like a stiffer brush. I like one of these bad boys. Well, I'm glad our, our bounty came in handy. So we can scoop a little bit out. Do we have any? We have a scoop. This is going to be a little gross, but that's why we got the cloth. I just got to work it a little. Don't even need it to be fully liquid. And then take our brush. And let's get in there. So, start at the chest here, and I think, yeah, I'll just, I'll just use the cloth here, there's no sense in okay. I'm not going to pop out your cylinder until we get to where we're going. Because I don't want to accidentally mess something up and then I can't take you anywhere. love the smell of fresh lubricant. It's beautiful. And then we have a few joints to work this in. Giving that a bend, a little twist. Wonderful. And how's the fingers? Good. I'm gonna have to get a little bit more here soon. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure how much I'd need. And if you could give that one a, uh, there, wonderful. 
And if you wouldn't mind, give me a little little one-two kick, a little razzle-dazzle. Perfect. And last thing, let's lube up the face. So, be very careful here. That looks... That's not so bad, really. Wonderful. So... I guess all that's left is, um... um put some of this stuff back. I'm not really interested in it. We'll keep the makeshift rubber key. I'm keeping the pen. It's a wonderful pen. And... I'll just pop this greasy uh, guy. We'll pop the greasy guy here. This we're going to keep with us. Tape. Pretty good measuring tape. Stick. Don't need the stick. And this was a nightmare. I'm not using that again. Otherwise, I mean, haul wasn't great. I mostly got one of these and I got an automaton for my escape. Oh, we better get going. That's gonna be a load of people if I've ever heard that song before. So, all right, I've got a bag. I'm gonna toss this in there and we've got to skedaddle. So if you will just follow me, take 
take your little d -d 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 horn play and solve, and we will get out of here. Right? Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I create primarily medical alternative medicine slash pseudoscience and personal attention. Of God.